Hey guys, Isaiah Drake is back here again, and welcome to the first episode of this brand new series. This brand new series. Well, before I got into this, now talk about what the series is about. Have you ever watched the time of the tank in the TV show? And you always wonder these based off of where I trained? I certainly do. I thought they were based on where I trained. Believe it or not, they actually are based off of where I trained that existed in real life. Wilbert Autry, who was a creator of the series of Tom of the Tank Engine, wanted these trains to be existed, of course. So he actually based off and trained from real life events and also in real life engines in real life. And some of the characters in based on the real life are still around today, as we all know, while others have sadly been scrapped. Well, this series was inspired by GWR Studio series called Soul of Folk File, where they talk about time to defend based on in real life, but that only lasted for three episodes. But you're gonna learn more in this series. I tried to do that in this series in my old channel, but it only lasts for five episodes. But I'm playing this is gonna last for even more episodes. So yeah. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the new series. So yeah, a real life of Thomas and Friends. So, without further ado, let's start with the title character of the main character himself, the number one engine Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> So, you are wondering, who is Thomas the Tank Engine? Well, as we know, Thomas is a very cheeky little engine who likes to pull tricks on the other engines. But he's very nice and very kind towards everyone, and he's always ready to help those friends in need. Also too, there are times when Thomas got himself into trouble, but his friends are always there to help him out. So, you are wondering, what type of job the Tommy duck did I in the soda? Well, the day beginning, as you see, Tommy had been shunting coaches and trains with big engine, but as the series progresses, he been pulling a lot of other trains, like coaches, the mail train, and even trucks too. He even got to see two paper coaches and in Clarabel. Tommy is truly overrated, I mean he's a type of character, and he has the number one pain on the side. But a lot of people don't know is that Tommy is actually based on a real life train that existed in real life. Now what I'm gonna show you is the real life focus of Tommy the Tank Engine. And here we go. Over 100 years ago, in the 20th century, the London Bridge and Southwest Railway created this locomotive called the, the, it called the LSC E2 class. And this, as you see right here, this as you may know, is Thomas the Tank Engine. And though it does look Thomas the Tank Engine as he's based on the E2 class, if that's in the fast phase, that's pretty hard to tell that it looks Thomas the Tank Engine. Another little method is that, look at the back of the cell, don't the cranes look similar to Cranky the Cranky TV show? And look, the truck a Thomas is pulling is the real life troublesome trucks. But that will be a different episode. I mean, Thomas had the extended side tanks of the E2 that he's based on. These engines of the E2 cloud were, uh, were designed, these, these locomotives were built between 1913 and 1916. And look, one of the ships looked like one of the ships that looked like from the TV show. And that looked Tommy the Tank in himself because Tommy is based on the E2 craft locomotive. Another fun fact I want to mention about this locomotive is that from time to time, they sometimes be pulled by passenger trains. These are the same type of job that Tommy does in the TV show. So you are wondering, where are these engines today? Do they still exist today? Well, unfortunately, I hate to tell it this, well, although these ended up in from the 1910, up in from the early 1960s, they were often replaced by these locomotives. Sorry. The future for these tank engines didn't look too bright. Starting beginning in 1961, the locomotive class began withdrawing and scrapping. And by April 1963, all the E2s were scrapped. 
Now, if Tengen 1 had been preserved today, what is unfortunate? This is only save and need 2 from scrap. Reason why is that because why didn't it just be in preserved in a museum? Or why didn't it just be on a day with Tom defense since Tom is based on that locomotive? But no, they had to scrap on it with no second chance of preserving one, which is very unfortunate. But at least the story doesn't end here. Although these real E twos were scrapped, the man as we know, Wilbur Arthur, created the book Thomas the Tank Engine, and as we all know, Tom was based on the E2 Tank Engine. But here's a fun fact I wanted to tell you guys about this. Tom was not originally going to be based on the E2 Tank Engine class. Tom was originally going to be based on the GWR class J23 class. These locomotives, they were built by the NWR, by the NWR, and they were built between 1924 and 1939. And what's cool about these locomotives, they're nicknamed by the submarines. I get their nickname the submarines because, because how they look. They almost look like a submarine. I mean, this is Thomas how it looked like when he was at the toy. Let me show you the picture. This was actually the toy that Wilbur Arthur made for Christopher when he was very young. I mean, what's cool the fun fact before making it Thomas, well, was that he he also wanted to really to make like Gordon, but Wilbur Arthur think that was too big. So he cracked that deal with this type and made it to Thomas. Though this is not the real white of the toy, that is actually a replica. This is actually a replica of the toy. And they did make a win well with this with this Thomas in 2015 for 70 years and ability of Thomas the Tank Engine. But let's get back on topic. Anyway, you're wondering, are these still around today? Well, I hate to tell you this, but no. Between 1958 and 1963, the, these locomotives began withdrawing and scrapping. And 1963, none of them are left to be saved. So that's unfortunate. The prototype of Thomas and this way of Thomas, none of them making it to preservation. That would be pretty unfortunate. So there is a fan of the Z2 tank engines that we as Thomas fans made and then we are Thomas fans may on these E2s. So yeah, <sighs> although the real Thomas does not exist today, there is another real Thomas in Strasbourg and there with Tom defense. They did a made a real Thomas that you can write on, but that would be a different story. But it'll be anything, there'll be a replica of the Thomas the Tank Engine, but who knows. Anyways, as we know, Tom has been around over for 75 years, and he's been around for generation after generation. And even though he's in a crappy 2D reboot, we'll still stick to the original of Thomas for both the modern series and GDI series, and the stories will last forever. Well, I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Where I Tom the Tank in with Thomas. The same we're going to address what we could do to other characters. So yeah, stay tuned for more in future episodes. As well my Twin Trap and Teen F series as well my parody videos. Well, that's me signing out. Bye bye.